Hi, Bella. Bella, um, so I just wanted to quickly run through um, the the ninety percent households covered for a cluster. We briefly went through it uh, in our meeting the other day, and um, I, I got a I got a pretty good idea that you already know how to do this. But I'm just going to to run through um, it so I know <laughs> in my mind that 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 you have a method at least. Okay, so if, we, if we're just trying to calculate the number of, well, the, the percentage of households that are covered by this little um, configuration of service areas that I've set up for the Amazi Water uh, 2750 goal. So I've, I've gone and placed a whole bunch here. So it should be quite easy. So let's have a look at what I've got here. Don't worry about these other layers. The only layers you really need to look at, I guess, are the service area and source zone, the households, as well as the resource potential. So I've gone and positioned them like this. And now what I want to do is I want to select the households. So from this layer, I need to determine how many households are in that actual cluster. So let's just do that first of all. So what I will do is I'm going to open up my statistics tool like this. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to select households. And I'm going to go for selected only. And I can choose any field here. It doesn't really matter what field I choose. So if I went ahead now and then selected, using my selection file, all of those households, it tells me that there's 13,543. So what you can do, if you like, is just go and create a little um, spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet on the side. And uh, clusters. Ah. You can call it what you like, but I'm just going to leave it at, at clusters for now. And it's opening up on my second screen here, so I'll drag it across as soon as it has opened up. Come on. All right, here we go. Okay, so what we got is a blank spreadsheet. I'm just going to say cluster and uh, goal. And let's go total households. And then, uh, what have we got here? 90% coverage. So we can go 90, uh, don't, you know what, that percentage coverage, we can use that. 90% households. And actually, no, that's selected. Let's go selected. Selected households. And then this, this can be like 90%. Or just percentage, actually, yeah. So that's going to be the percentage of the total. <coughs> right, so let's go ahead and uh, I like to just quickly format things in my own way. We'll do it like that. And maybe make this a bit bigger. Uh, let's just make this a bit bigger. How do I do that? i got a view and then percentage. Let's go zoom. Let's zoom to 200. Whoa, that's a lot bigger. Okay, so my cluster is MU04 in this example. The goal is Amazi Water. Amazi Water 90% coverage. Okay. And then the the total households for that cluster is what we've just selected out. So that is 135 135.543. 135.543. And then the, this this is going to be the percentage, so we can say equals uh, this one divided by that one, enter, and then we can just format the this column to be percent. So we just go to format cells and make this percent, and there we go. So we got naught percent, and because currently there are naught houses selected, so let's make this a bit smaller. I can actually leave it there for now. Where should I leave it? I'll leave it there like that for now. Okay, so we go back to QGIS. And I mean, then the rest you can imagine is actually quite easy. So based on this configuration, I can deselect all those households. And then using the vector uh, research, which one is it? Research tools. I'm going to go, I'm going to say select by location. So I want to select households that intersect with my MU service area. So whatever your service area name was, create a new selection. Boom, there we go. 12,196. 
12,196. Enter. Whoa, that is a fluke. Actually, I might have I might have set this out previously. Okay, so that's bang on 90%. So now you know that that configuration will work. Did I close that? No, I didn't close it. Okay. So, for instance, if you if you if you didn't come to 90% initially, then it would just be a case of going ahead and editing this layer. So, if you move something, oh, let's move this one down here slightly like that. And then run that selection again. So vector, uh, research, select by location. And you could probably leave this open from now on. I closed it down there. If it stays open, run that. Okay, so that's 12,217. Still 90%. Okay, so you get, th you get the idea. I think that's how uh, you can quickly come to a, a value. Um using QGIS. Uh, I think I can drag this onto my second screen so I don't have to worry about that. So as you tweak it, uh, and, and the nice thing about working with 90% is you actually got more flexibility to position your wells over a higher resource potential. Um, but see how you go. Try, try, and try, try that method and then also try and remember to try and choose the best resource potential possible for your source zone. Okay, hopefully that works. Give me a shout if you have any questions. Cheers.